In this problem, we're trying to find the points of constructive interference and destructive interference of two sound waves. So the speed of the sound at this particular temperature is given as 345 meters per second. The frequency is given as 690 hertz. So we can immediately calculate the wavelength of that sound by using the wave equation V equals lambda f or lambda equals v over f and so we get a nice convenient wavelength of 0.5 meters. Now the condition for constructive and destructive interference between two waves has to do with how much further one wave goes than the other. So let's just look at one wave travels say that distance and we'll call this distance y and another wave which gets emitted at a different location but happens to travel a different distance in order for them to interfere constructively that means that their peaks line up the difference let's call this distance x the difference in their path lengths has to be exactly one wavelength so if this, that's called the path difference, is exactly one wavelength or any integer multiple, one wavelength, two wavelengths, three wavelengths, then this will be a maximum. If those two waves were on top of each other at some location, it would be a maximum, which means that we have x plus the extra wavelength that, that one wave travels must equal the distance the other wave travels. So if we go up to our picture here, the wave that's traveling further is the one from this right-hand speaker. So I'm going to let that distance be y. And the wave coming off the other speaker will travel a distance x. So in order for these waves to meet at point P and constructively interfere, in other words, be right on top of each other, it must be that y is equal to x plus lambda. And that would be the first possible situation. Or if it was x plus 2 lambda would be the second maximum, x plus 3 lambda would be the third maximum, and so on. So it's conveniently lambda is a half, so we have y equals x plus 1 half. Okay, so that's equation number 1 that we need. Now, just from the geometry of the two speakers, we also have Pythagoras' theorem that 0.7 meters squared plus x squared is equal to y squared. That's equation number two. So just sub number one into number two and solve for x to find the position of that first maximum. So I'll just do that. 0.7 squared plus x squared is equal to x plus one half all squared. Expanding out that right hand side, x squared plus two times x times one half plus one half squared. The x squared cancel. And I have 0.7 squared is equal to 2x times a half, which is x, plus 1 half squared. So it's pretty easy to get x in that situation. x would be equal to 0.7 squared minus a half squared. And if you put that into your calculator, you get that x equals 0 0.24 meters. So it's quite close to that top speaker that you get the first maximum. Now a minimum happens if the waves are slightly um, out, they have to be completely out of phase. So if one wave is going, going up and the other wave is going down, when they meet at the same place, and let's say this wave just happens to go an extra little bit here, um, they will cancel each other out because plus there and minus there is equal to zero. So this would be a minimum. And in order to get in that situation, you only have to go an extra half a wave. So this difference in path length is only half of a wave. And so the condition for minima is that y is equal to x plus one half of a wave. And so in our case, this would be x plus half of a half. I thought this would be x plus a quarter. And we do it again. Put that into our geometry and we'll solve for x. So for the minimum, 
Yep, 0.7 squared plus x squared is equal to x plus 1 quarter squared is x squared plus 2 times x times 1 quarter plus 1 quarter squared. And if you solve that for x, once again the x squareds cancel, and you get that x is equal to 0 0.855 meters. And that's the final answer for that problem.